AD with 26 last night. Jay Will, then it's LeBron getting in transition. I remember that time when Utah used to have a top three rated defense in the league. Look After how much that. fun they're having. Jalen, look at Dwight Howard. He's having fun. You think he's having fun there? How about him knocking down a corner three? Reinventing himself as a veteran. Come out of that zone. Big fella making the left corner three. This is when it's time to celebrate. I mean, look, they're all having fun. If, if he's going to knock down shots like that, good thing is it going to happen. Look, Boogie Cousins is having fun. LeBron's having fun. He's signing shoes. This game is over long before it's over. He's shining shoes. He's uh, signing shoes, but then he's going to actually come out onto the court and celebrate in his socks. And I was watching this game, and the announcers for the Jazz were whining about LeBron James being on the floor with his socks. This is in-game low management. This is how you <laughs> take care of business, and then you celebrate at the end with ice on your knees and your socks on the floor because you're up 20 on the road. That is a team that is having a lot of fun, and if we think back to last season, and you and I were here every single day, how little fun LeBron <laughs> seemed to be having. Look how much fun that group seems to be having. Yeah, and right played now. meaningful basketball since April. And you talked about it. The league was going to be in trouble when the season started. Anthony Davis still playing at an elite level, knocking down his jump shots, playing defense at a hot clip. The Lakers have total balance throughout their roster, and it's fun to win. This is what happens when you get rest, J. Rose. This is what happens when you have six months to rest your body to get back to become rejuvenated. You play with AD, your team actually defends. They're one of the best defensive rated teams in the league. It, it, even Taco Tuesday. I mean, he's <laughs> carrying this whole tradition. This is what basketball is fun. I think sometimes for players, they get lost in the grit and the grind of it. It's good to see them actually enjoy the Are the process. Lakers the best team in the NBA? I believe so, along with the Milwaukee Bucks. No, but that, that's two teams. I'm asking you which is the best team. The Lakers, the I believe so. Second, the Milwaukee Bucks. What do you still think? Still don't have the Clippers there. If the Clippers are fully healthy, I, I still take the Clippers. If they play each other in a seven-game series right now, you would take the Lakers or the Clippers? I would take the Lakers. Over the Clippers? Over the Clippers. You agree or disagree? I would take the Clippers. Here, here, here's the distinction. So the Clippers are the best perimeter defensive team in the game. The Lakers are the best interior defensive team in the game. I always choose size, and in the playoffs, that's going to matter. You see Dwight Howard, you see Anthony Davis, you see LeBron James. These guys are 6'9 and above. Kyle Re Kuzma. Regardless of who's wrong, I would love to see it. I would love to see the Clippers and the Lakers. Oh, the there's a very good chance that we'll wind up seeing it. The Lakers have won 10 straight on the road. They're 19-3. and three. They lead the Western Conference. Are either of you surprised they're this good this quickly? No. Uh, look, when you have LeBron James and you have Anthony Davis, a top five arguable, arguable player in the league, I, you expect them to be this good, Greeny. I, I think what's going to happen towards the latter part of the season is more fascinating to me. Do you, si do you decide to low manage LeBron James, get him ready for the playoffs? And all teams have weaknesses. The Lakers don't necessarily knock down the three very well often. They're about to go on a tough road swing. Let's see if their defense travels when they start to play some tougher teams. There's also the interesting dynamic, the fact that they and the Clippers share the building, that home court advantage might become a little less significant to the Lakers because if they play them, it doesn't matter who technically has four home games. Oh, it matters. Aren't all seven of those games going to be filled with Th Laker fans? That's, that's a purple and gold stage. That's Don't what ever I mean. forget it. I, I was saying that about in New York City. We, I love the Barclays Center. I go to a lot of their games. But the stage in New York City is MSG. No, but the point I'm I know making. they're playing in the same building. Yeah. I get it. And the fans, even if it's a Clipper home game, they're going to be rooting for the Lakers, yes? Lakers yeah. got 16 championships. Their the fans Lakers will be spending for them tickets, and it's always going to be heavy Lakers. It, it, it's a Lakers town. It's a Lakers town. That's what it is. I think the Lakers have the edge. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.